In July of 2010, Boeing aimed to have Starliner ready for crewed missions by 2015. Yet, here we are in 2021 and there's still no clear end in sight for the Starliner capsule. Throughout the program's lifetime, NASA has poured in a total of $4.2 billion. But the Starliner has simply seen delay after delay and failure after failure. Meanwhile, SpaceX has already started to complete crewed missions with Crew Dragon. So what happened to Boeing Starliner? Well, starting off, let's take a look back at the origins and evolution of the Starliner. It all started in 2010 when NASA announced a commercial crew program. They were just about to retire the space shuttle, so they wanted an alternative to get crews to the ISS from America. Boeing would initially receive $18 million in 2010. This funding was to be used to draft designs and concepts and basically get a crewed spacecraft on the board. Following this initial funding, NASA would pour in another $93 million into NASA in 2011. This money was to be used to refine their prototypes and pitch the best solution to NASA. At the same time, NASA was also funding other organizations such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, and the Sierra Nevada Corporation. NASA tasked all of these companies with developing their own crewed spacecraft modules or parts of a potential spacecraft. For instance, Blue Origin received $22 million to develop a bionic nose cone, SpaceX received $75 million to develop Crew Dragon, and the Sierra Nevada Corporation received $80 million to develop the Dream Chaser. It was said that the best designs would qualify for the next stage of the commercial crew program and receive more funding. But as you might have noticed, from the very beginning, Boeing received more funding than all of the competition. Boeing was the only company to receive a total of over $100 million, and this gap would only get bigger with time. While that may sound unfair, it does make sense. Boeing was by far the most established aircraft manufacturer out of their group, so it made sense for NASA to hedge their bets with Boeing. Soon enough, Boeing would land on the Starliner, and this would win them $460 million in 2012. But they weren't the only winners. All the main companies won money. Sierra Nevada would win $212.5 million, and SpaceX would win $440 million. Blue Origin was also qualified to win money, but they decided to turn down the winnings and instead opt for funding from Jeff Bezos. Anyways, over the next two years, the remaining companies would conduct the plethora of tests and certifications that NASA required. NASA would then judge the data gathered from these tests, as well as the capability of each spacecraft, to choose the final two winners. As we all know, the winners would end up being Boeing and SpaceX. Boeing would end up winning $4.2 billion and SpaceX would end up winning $2.6 billion. Boeing was clearly favored at this point and things would progress smoothly up until 2016. In May of 2016, Boeing announced that they were facing issues with their launch vehicle, the Atlas V, and that the first crewed flight would be delayed till early 2018. In October of 2016, Boeing would further push back this date to late 2018. And later that same year in December of 2016, SpaceX would also delay the Crew Dragon to 2018 after the MO6 explosion. So at this point, both companies were more or less still on even grounds. But this created a rather significant issue for NASA. You see, the first flights of the commercial crew program were scheduled to take place by 2017. This was intended to give NASA plenty of time to transition from relying on Russia to relying on SpaceX and Boeing. Considering this delay, NASA would go ahead and purchase a couple more seats on Soyuz, which would be scattered throughout 2017, 2018, and 2019. Meanwhile, we wouldn't hear very much from Boeing about Starliner for the next two years, but eventually more issues would surface. In July of 2018, Boeing would experience an issue with their abort engine during testing. Boeing didn't describe the issue in too much detail, citing that there was simply an anomaly. Speculation suggested that there may have been a fuel leak, and it was later confirmed that this was the case due to faulty valves. This would of course lead to another delay in the program. The first uncrewed mission was pushed back to April of 2019, and the first crewed mission was pushed back to August of 2019. By the time April of 2019 rolled around though, Boeing would announce that the uncrewed flight was delayed to August of 2019, with the crewed flight likely following in 2020. At this point, it seemed like we were just seeing delay after delay and that nothing was moving forward. But, fortunately, things would start to change in May of 2019. In May, Starliner would successfully complete a major test that would open up the path to their first orbital test flight. The only test left before the orbital flight was the abort test. Boeing would go ahead and conduct the abort test in November of 2019. Unfortunately, one out of the three parachutes would not deploy during the test. However, two parachutes would be more than enough to safely land the Starliner, and so the test would be deemed a success despite the minor failure. 
Boeing would move on to their first orbital test flight just one month later in December of 2019. This wouldn't go very smoothly though. Throughout the entire test, we would see a variety of software errors and mishaps. First of all, a timing error would lead to Starliner's thrusters consuming more fuel than expected. After this, Starliner would actually fail in docking with the International Space Station. And to make things even worse, there would be another thruster error during re-entry. NASA would later reveal that the docking error, as well as a re-entry error, likely would have resulted in a loss of the spacecraft if it wasn't for intervention from ground control. So clearly, this was a pretty serious issue, and we still have no clue how these errors got past all the tests on the ground. On the bright side though, Boeing would take responsibility for the failure, and they would take on the full financial responsibility of conducting a second uncrewed orbital test flight, which comes out to about $410 million. Throughout 2020, Boeing would work on troubleshooting the errors they encountered in the first test flight, and as of the time of this recording, they are ready to progress with the second test flight. Originally, the launch was scheduled for March 25th, 2021, but this was later delayed to April 2nd, 2021. However, considering that NASA is working on completing a crew mission with SpaceX in April, it doesn't seem like Boeing will end up being able to test Starliner in April. At this point though, we're really just looking at logistical and technical delays. If the second orbital test flight is successfully completed within the next couple of months, then the first crewed Starliner mission is planned for December of 2021. I'm not quite sure if this timeline will play out, but if the second orbital test flight is successful, I think it's highly likely that we'll see a crewed Starliner mission by the end of 2022. Assuming everything goes smoothly, Boeing will have the opportunity to complete at least 5 more crewed Starliner missions with NASA over the next couple of years. And if those go smoothly, NASA will re-examine the cost and reliability of Starliner and go from there. So, though this program has dragged on for way longer than expected, it does seem like we're finally going to see Starliner fulfill its goal. That's honestly an awesome milestone, as having multiple commercial crewed launch vehicles is only a good thing. But this still leaves one question on the table. Why did it take Boeing so long? And how was SpaceX able to beat Boeing to a crewed launch with $1.6 billion less in funding? Well, in my opinion, the first major obstacle for Boeing was a lack of focus. This isn't to say that the engineers working on Starliner were unfocused. Rather, Starliner wasn't a priority to the executives and leaders at Boeing. Here's the thing, Boeing is an aircraft manufacturer, and thus far they have been a very successful one at that. As a result, Starliner is just an expansion to their business, not their main business itself. So, it makes sense that their primary focus was always their aircraft themselves. With SpaceX on the other hand, Crew Dragon was by far their most significant project. Of course, their long-term goal was always Starship and Mars, but successfully completing Crew Dragon was critical in building up credibility and investor trust. Aside from Starliner not being a top priority for Boeing, Boeing was also facing significant issues with their core business, which likely consumed a lot of their attention. First of all, we had the massive fiasco with the Boeing 737 MAX 8. On March 13, 2019, the Boeing 737 MAX 8 was grounded after claiming the lives of 346 people. At the time, Boeing had thousands of Boeing 737 MAX 8 orders lined up and ready to go. And, as you would guess, this fiasco led to a massive downfall of Boeing's fundamental business, which would of course take priority. Since then, most countries have approved the 737 MAX 8 for a flight. But to this day, China has yet to lift the ban. So clearly, Boeing still very much feels the effects of the 737 MAX 8 even today. And it's very possible that this issue hindered Boeing from being able to complete their first orbital flight successfully. Boeing has also faced another massive issue, which is of course, the pandemic. Airlines have been one of the hardest hit industries due to pandemic restrictions. And consequently, it's not surprising that demand for aircrafts has significantly declined. Boeing's profits started taking a hit when the 737 MAX 8 was grounded, and things have only gotten worse since. Between that time period, their net margin crashed from positive 10% to negative 20%. That translates to a drop in net income from a positive $10 billion per year to a negative $11 billion per year. I think nothing else has to be said about Boeing's financial situation. On top of facing a major downfall in their primary business, I suspect that Boeing underestimated how fast SpaceX would develop Crew Dragon while also overestimating their own ability. NASA favored Boeing from the very beginning and this was with good reason. I'm sure that if Boeing really focused on Starliner and didn't face major issues with their airline business, they could have likely started conducting crewed Starliner missions years ago. I think the abundant confidence NASA had in Boeing likely got to their head and prevented them from really performing to the best of their ability, as we all know that is definitely not a lack of ability that caused a rough path for Starliner. Why do you guys think Starliner had such major issues? Comment that down below. Also, 
Drop a like if you guys are excited to see Starliner finally complete a crewed mission. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas, and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.